ready whenever you're ready. All right. Uh, so I'm going to be talking about the polarization of the political parties in America. And this is whenever uh, members of the parties are actually moving towards the more radical side of each party. So those who used to be on the right side of the spectrum are now becoming more right and more radical and on the far right. And those that were on the left are starting to become more left and more radical and more left. And this is leaving a large middle ground in the middle. And this is having a lot of adverse effects on American politics and American media. Uh, now, in each state, we see with the darker colors, this is a representation of like the darker colors being a more concentrated uh, political party. And we're having states that are having more concentrated of one political party or another. And this is becoming, uh, with the Electoral College, we're being able to predict each state. And it's not becoming more of an election, it's more of what's going to be this again. And there are only eight states this year that we couldn't predict. And that's going to become more worse with this polarization. Uh, now, something else that this affects is inside political parties, we're starting to see movements inside the political parties where, like with the Republican Party and the Tea Party, inside the Republican Party we had a mass that was moving more right and one that stayed the same. And this created the Tea Party. And uh, as the polarization continues, we might see where the Tea Party itself might actually split off from the Republican Party and make its own third party. Uh, now, this might be bad for some Republican viewers, and, but for the Democrats, it might be good because now you have two smaller parties against <coughs> one larger. And now these two smaller parties might influence the larger party to split off, and you might have one large middle and two smaller ones. Uh, this also affects the debates, as we saw, because now the uh, candidates are wanting to seem more aggressive towards each other because our uh, voters are now more aggressive towards each other and they want to appeal to the viewers. So uh, our debates are more argumentative. And this creates a but the other guy thing that we saw so often because now our candidates are more likely to blame each other than to support themselves because that's what the voters want. The voters don't want what they want. They want to see what the other guy doesn't want. And so this is going to keep going probably as uh, polarization continues because it's only going to get worse and we're going to get more radical and we're going to want more aggressiveness. Uh, this is also uh, forcing the congressmen to vote certain ways on bills because now we're coming to a time when people are voting simply on long party lines. And now if we're going to be voting along party lines, then congressmen are going to want to vote on bills along party lines. So someone who's voting doesn't want to be like, oh, this guy voted with the Democrats, or this guy voted with the Republicans. And so congressmen are more likely to vote one way or the other on bills. Uh, this also has a large effect on the undecided voters in America. The undecided voters are left kind of stranded in the middle, and they don't really know uh, one way or the other because both sides are moving so far away, it's leaving the middle isolated and completely unrelatable. Uh, this unrelatableness is kind of a, a, a bad thing for them because now we're having a large population that are voting one way or the other on maybe really simple issues that don't matter and they're settling on the larger issues and this might have an adverse effect on our president. Uh, the polarization of political parties is having a huge effect on the uh, primary elections and how it influences the rest of the elections. Uh, now that we have a party that might be more radical than it used to be, to win the nomination for that party, you have to be more radical. Like Mitt Romney, to win the Republican nominee, he had to be the conservativist of the Republican nominees. And once he won the Republican nomination, uh, he had to appeal to the moderate viewers and the, some of the uh, more liberal viewers. And so he had to switch his ideas a little bit. And this made that whole flip-flop thing that we saw. That I, it, was, it was purely reasonable because of this polarization effect that we've been having. Um, and this has also been having an effect on the media because uh, with the polarization everybody becoming more radical, we're wanting to see a more radical news show. Uh, this is creating, you know, news shows are an uh, organization, they're a corporation, they want to make money. And if we're willing to spend money on the more angry <coughs> shows that are giving us what we want, they're going to put it out there for us. They're going to be more radical as we become more radical. And they might be becoming more radical at a faster rate and might be what's causing us to be radical. 
In conclusion, this has uh, created a situation where rigidity is the norm, and we're expected to vote one way or the other and not anything in the middle. And that's what I've learned in this class. All right. Thank you. Good job, All right. Well timed. Okay, folks, opening up any questions for Mr. Jarbo? Any questions? Any questions? Yes, ma'am. Is that like your favorite part of the class? Like, why did you pick polarization? Uh, well, uh, I, I, we've talked about polarization a lot. Like, it's come up a lot. And it really fit well with my two essays together because one of them was about attack ads and the other one was about uh, how the common good has kind of been pushed aside. And polarization really fit them two together well. And it was something that we talked about a lot. Any other questions? So, John, I'm, I'm interested. So, if we have this extreme polarization, how might that result in sort of, I don't know, hate crimes and things like this, intolerance? Uh, well, uh, the polarization is also going to, uh, it's not going to reach just the politics, but the whole mindset that people mm -hmm. have. And uh, it's going uh, to become more radical about one thing. You might be become more radical about a lot of things. And that might include uh, your feelings towards other people. Mm -hmm. and so, I can see where that might have an adverse effect on crimes and stuff. Absolutely. Very good. Very good. Any other questions for John? <laughs> Comments for his presentation? That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Austin, what do you think, sir? Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, great, great. I agree. Very good. All right, John. Congratulations. You're